Hi, uh, welcome back to IT Landy uh, for today. I will uh, walk you through uh, the creation of Azure Surface Fabric. So you need to navigate to your uh, tenancy. If not, you need to subscribe to the demo or the trial version. Uh, after that, you need to log on to portal.azure.com and then you can navigate to the left hand side. Uh, you can do all resources, oh, sorry, all services, or you can search for it. So these are the services, and you can go expand all or collapse all. And you can see this is the general compute, and you can see service fabric is the area. So we're going to focus today on service fabric cluster and later on we'll explore like uh, KS9 and functions and other stuff as well, yeah? So click on service fabric cluster. At the moment I have uh, a cluster in place called application 3. Now click on add, uh, give it a name, so I'll call it uh, IT Landy and if you click here it needs to be lowercase so no uppercase okay okay uh, what do you want to host on I will be hosting on Windows Server 2016 data center maybe with containers and you see the other options, Linux, other semi annual and so on. Yeah. So leave as it is with containers. Uh, username for the VM. And then and give it a password. Okay. Confirm the password. Subscription. Resource group. So I've got a few resource groups. I'm gonna create one for this one. Uh, create one. I'm gonna call it IT Landy underscore resource group. Okay. Okay to this one. Location and you got a few options. So I'm gonna use uh, North Europe. And these are the basic settings. Next is the cluster configuration. Uh, you got a few options, uh, not type either 1, 2 or 3, depend on your configuration. And you can, uh, you can see specify 1, 2, 3, 3 will give me uh, 3 nodes, and uh, 1 will allow me only configure the primary, okay. So I'm going to go for 1, and do the, look at the option settings as well, for diagnostics, DNS and fabric version, okay. So we leave it one node, click on primary, and the node type, and the uh, durability, size of the virtual machine, and it's a single node cluster, and you go to the endpoint. So today we're going to do a single node, next we will do multiple nodes. So node name is, will be IG Landy uh, N1, node 1. I'll leave it bronze, you got silver and gold depend on you can see as Q you have the tier and the license and support virtual machine and the virtual machine size again depend on the cluster size what you are after so I will be using uh, uh, maybe basic size again depend if you want to have a larger uh, VMs you can go for them so I'm gonna go for uh, that first one loading so what we got there we got a few options here you can see this one uh, some cost less some cost a lot so you can arrange it like for example by uh, the size itself and you can go for different sizes and you can see different models so I'm gonna go for uh, Where is it? D 
one and okay you can see different sizes so we selected standard D1 and is it single node you can click single node or you can scale up to five nodes yeah or you can change it to three node if you choose to again depend on your requirement okay choosing less than five initial VMs capacity for primary node will designate these clusters to a test okay so that's why you need to be at least five okay or you can go single node that will be again for test environment only so we're going to scale to five endpoint customization you can enable reverse proxy and you can do advanced settings and you can see the port endpoint application start to end port dynamic allocation and you have the placement for your properties that will add uh, placement to the node itself self-defined mapping same thing with the capacity for the application itself okay so at the moment i'm leaving as they as they are you can customize some port as well like port 80 81 443 these are custom endpoints so you will have them i'll show you later what i mean okay to this one then uh you got diagnostics on application inside key this optional and again I'm going to leave this as a default, but you can do include uh, repair manager. This is uh, if you want to fix repair that one. Again, custom fabric settings. If you want to add any customization, here we go. You can see the values and the options. What you're gonna do with the fabric? Okay, so add edit settings. Uh, the application gateway for example and you can see the gateway and the parameter associated with it so at the moment i'm going to leave this one as it is because i have no requirement for it for customization and okay to this one go to security i need to have a key vault so when you spin a service fabric you need to have a key vault you go click on key vault create a key vault same thing with the key vault give it name id landy uh, underscore key uh, uh, itland the key vault resource group we create the new one and that will be itland hyphen rg resource groups create new one itland hyphen rg is also group North Europe tiering standard again access policy principle one selected all network can be accessed later on we will change the network you know like show you what else if you want to customize it certain requirements and then create this is the key vault and you can change what exactly you want to host on your key vault so as soon as the key vault is ready, we can continue with the spinning of our service fabric. Uh, you can see, I mean, a few options. Again, we went for the default sort of like uh, basic customization, and you can do more advanced. Later on, we will be uh, creating another session for more advanced scenario. So our key vault is fine. We are doing validation. So as soon as finish the validation here we go now it's supposed to select the you know uh, policy for the key vault so click on here and select the policy the key vault itself and you can edit the what policy you want to use what well, okay so i've got three policies here and okay here we go permission we are happy with this now the you see here the issues is around you know uh, uh, the how we can utilize it so at the moment uh, 
we need to assign the key vault to a surface so that should be I got my key vault, you open the key vault and it should allow me to select click to show access policy and just where you would like to use it for so I'm trying to use it for virtual machines, deployment, resource manager and this encryption and that should be it. If you can pick and choose different key vault for different uh, sort of resource. So here we go and cancel or close, close and uh, should be ready. Certificate name we just call it Landy. You can give it any name you like and that should be it. We should be ready now to deploy our surface fabric as soon as uh, validation finish. So this is straightforward and here we go you got the summary and you can download a template for the all the setting you have selected this is the json template you can download it and you can use it for basically uh, later on if you'd like to you know deploy it you know so you can deploy it or you can add it to a library if you go a library at the moment it land the underscore swift fabric you can give it a description you can save it under the library uh, just give a description what's for so I can use it again okay here we go and save I do have a, a storage for that one so I've saved the templates and here we go cancel close I can change the parameters here we'll talk about this later on yeah that's it happy go and create it so as soon as I finish you can see that I've got now at the moment uh, application 3 we will have another uh, surface fabric and I'll show you how we can navigate through the surface fabric after it's finished hopefully it, it is straightforward to create it later on we will start creating uh, different sessions for like integration with web services functions Azure uh, like uh, API management and uh, back end SQL as you SQL. But at the moment, we are just creating the cluster and we will navigate through the cluster as soon as, as, soon as it is ready. Let's have a look. You can see the templates and the activities still in progress. I'm just going to dismiss all of these. Meanwhile, while we're waiting for this one to show up, I'm just going to show you how the service fabric will look like. So I'm going to open my existing one rather than waiting we go uh, this is the service fabric you can see the nodes IP name and this is the endpoint where you can publish or reach out you know at the moment uh, I've published mine so if I browse to the explorer I should be able to see if I got any uh, if it's healthy up and running or not so refresh page maybe oh maybe this is a down I need a certificate for it so I'll show you uh, activities logs uh, if it's been utilized or not okay filters uh, sorry uh, identity I am access management and you can see the roles and people and tagging and you can see the service fabric itself the diagnosis issues the node we selected earlier you can see name of the node, endpoints and ranges and uh, if you go only one node it will show up here, if you chosen three or five nodes they will show up here, we'll talk later on about the domain upgrade, domain fail and it's a bit slow um, then application I published some application before to which I pushed at the moment it's supposed to be empty when it's been new one but later on I'll show you how we can publish to it uh, I do recall I published something called application 3 to it at uh, the moment it's not shown up you got security, NSGs, rules, customization, fabric, encryption, properties, endpoint, cluster ID and location and subscription you can lock it down and you know subscription or resource group to prevent any changes to it so I'm going to close that one at the moment let's refresh we see what happened if our new uh, go 
the new one is in North Europe again open it at the moment it's nothing there you can see uh, even the still spinning no application number of nodes logs nothing is there create update cluster data time I am roles and uh, scopes again node I've got a node endpoint and nothing is available at the moment application no things available no, no, no. we have not published yet but this is a sort of cluster yeah you got a certificate if I want to browse to my cluster at the moment then I need my certificate okay so these are the options fabric upgrade we left as a default automatic and you can customize it if you wish to if I want to browse to my fabric I just need to go back to my own resource and find the key okay uh, I find my key vault uh, where's my key vault we call it IT Lindy it's my key vault I need a certificate I just installed click on certificate open the cert and then you can download it or you can just open it more and more you can download it as a backup and you can see the certificate itself you can download it as a PFX so I can use it to browse to my service fabric save it, save us and, and then open it there we go current user, next, 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 next we got certificate ready go back to all resource and where is the new service fabric? Here we go, my new service fabric. And this is the URL, you can see it's in North Europe at the moment. And uh, if you go Explorer, then when, you, when we will publish, we will have an Explorer. Okay, at the moment, this is not reachable. You can see there's uh, missing URLs. Where is the other? Uh, so the fabric, the one I had before, 